Hi guys, I'm back with the terrible lighting in my kitchen, but um, a lot of you seem to enjoy this intro even though I know it's really bright and stuff. A lot of you said that you would actually prefer to see an intro like this. So anyhow, um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a grocery shopping haul. And I know that's when you're thinking, what the heck, why would you show us what you buy for food? Now the point of these videos is not just to do a haul in the traditional sense, but um, I just kind of to give you an idea of what kinds of things I buy, and I've done videos like that uh, before, because I, I get a lot of questions from people um, who just maybe don't really know a lot about food in general or don't really know uh, what things are actually healthy for you versus things that aren't. Because it can kind of sometimes be deceiving, like things like that, like little tips on uh, what kind of food to avoid um, or, you know, maybe to just reduce and then which kind of food are actually um, very high in like nutritional value just for people who want to live and to want to eat healthier um, some of those people like including myself might have weight loss goals and just getting more into shape but even if you're not looking to reduce weight um, this is just a way how to uh, make better decisions at the grocery store so let's get started the first thing is vegetables so vegetables is like the key uh, thing you really want to increase your vegetable intake if you want to live a healthier life. So vegetables that are good for you are just really fresh um, veggies. So something like, you know, bell peppers. This is like um, a kilogram of bell peppers. Something like this is going to have a higher nutritional value than something just like lettuce leaves because lettuce leaves don't actually have a ton of nutrients. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot of water. So that's why, you know, things like, um, you know, bell peppers or, I don't know, spinach or any of these kind of like green vegetables or broccoli or things like that have a higher nutritional value than like I said something like a salad. Now I do have a salad here, um, but what I like to do with salads instead of just eating you know just the salad by itself, I like to add other things in it. So I've also bought um, tomato. And I've also bought um, cucumber. Again, a lot of uh, water in this, but it just tastes nice with salad. Gives like a nice crisp um, taste to it. And I also bought some radishes, and these are also very good. Um, they have sort of, I don't know what it's called in English, but they have a certain, um, like a certain property that is actually good for uh, your metabolism. Now this is a Charente melon, which is a French cantaloupe, and it's really, really good. And these were uh, on sale because they're perfectly in season right now. So melon again is something that you could eat really freely because they do contain a lot of water and they're actually uh, less sugary than things like um, peaches and um, you know nectarines or things like that because because of the high water content. So especially like watermelon. I got um, just some extra virgin olive oil. This is cold pressed. So olive oil is one of the very very healthy oils. Of course it does have fat but it's definitely one of the healthy oils. So if you do use oil, um, olive oil is a really good choice. And of course eat dairy. Dairy has a lot of um, calcium and it has a lot of other uh, you know, nutritional value, but don't overdo it. Don't need like too, too much dairy. Um, what I got now is just plain yogurt. Now I don't buy non-fat yogurt because I just don't like the taste. So and this is great for breakfasts or snacks, or sometimes you can make really nice like desserts with it. I use it in my salad dressings as well, just to make it a bit lighter. I also got this uh, big pack of mozzarella. There's four portions in here. This is great for lunches. I like to put this on top of like um, tomato salad, um, you know, with some just some olive oil and um, balsamic vinegar. So it's kind of like an Italian, very nice like Italian mozzarella and cheese. Cheese and dairy, or cheese in general, has a very, very low carbohydrate uh, index. So, if, for example, this one has in 100 grams of uh, cheese, there's less than one gram of carbs. So, if you're especially looking at carbohydrates, um, Cheese is something that you can really definitely snack on. And it's really something that I like to combine with vegetables. So anyway, just cheese. Um, and now over here, um, if you can see, this is like my protein stuff. Um, so I bought cured ham again. Now, this is kind of like prosciutto or um, Parma ham, and basically this kind of ham is different than the regular sort of, you know, like black forest ham or maple ham or whatever, because those kinds of hams um, have a lot of sugar in them because they're usually, like it's not, 
you know, they, they process the meat and they put sugar and stuff in it. Um, but this one isn't. This is just basically they take the whole leg of the pork and they either air dry it or it gets cured in a way that nothing is really added. No, it doesn't. I just looked here in the back. There's no sugar in this. So if you compare it with, um, yeah, like Black Forest ham, that has a lot more sugar in it. So yeah, air cured ham is really the way to go. And then I got um, this multi-pack of chicken breasts. So this is, uh, I think there's like four or five in here. And some of them I'm going to use tomorrow for my dinner. And some of them I'm going to freeze. And I also got, um, this is a rump steak. So this is beef. And this is um, perfect. Like, I like to make this uh, slow roast. And then you can use it for, um, I'm making a carpaccio with it, which is awesome. It's so, so, so delicious. So I'm making a carpaccio with this with like an Asian dressing. And with meats, um, you want to get like whole cuts of meat. You don't want to get like sausages or I don't know, spam or anything like that because that's mean, that means it's been processed. So if you get, you know, whole chicken breasts or, you know, you can get pork or whatever, but just whole cuts of meat because that way it's really, um, it's actually like not processed meat, you know what I mean? You don't have to buy all these like diet foods. You know, a lot of people, they think that, oh, I, I better watch what I eat. I want to eat everything low fat and I have to buy things like lean cuisine and, you know, these kinds of like prepared meals. Um, I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. Personally, I think that's not really a good way. If you're, if you're conscious about what you eat, the best is just to um, buy fresh produce. And when you go shopping, um, do most of your shopping around the fresh produce. So, you know, there's always like sections in the grocery store. So try to skip as many of the aisles as you can and focus really on the fresh produce, like, you know, the the veg vegetable and fruits and the meats and fish and like eggs and you know dairy and stuff like that so things that have to be refrigerated especially because they're fresh foods I know that's kind of like a general rule of thumb but it's just something that is really helpful and just reduce um, processed foods so you know don't buy like fast uh, ready-made prepared meals because they're just not they're just not as healthy for you as if you are going to actually prepare the food yourself and it can also save you a lot of money because if you buy things that are seasonal so if you buy like fruits and vegetables that are in season in whatever season you're in often those are really really inexpensive because at that point they've got so much of it right so I really try to buy like seasonal things and of course you can add carbs to it I mean you don't have to you don't have to do exactly like what I'm doing you know if you want to eat potatoes or um, rice and things like that you can do that but again look for the whole stuff so buy whole potatoes don't buy like ready-made mashed potatoes um, or you know buy like but if you want to eat like rice buy um, like wild rice for example you know sometimes they have those wild rice mixes or brown rice or something like that because that's a lot healthier than that like instant rice like Uncle Ben's which really has like no nutritional value again so yeah I think those are just some general rules of thumb the things you want to look out for um, probably missed a lot of things that I could mention here but um, I might do a few more videos like this if you guys like them let me know if you want to see more about that and um, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!